Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is super exciting. And you might not know why, because I haven't posted any videos about them saying I wanted them or anything. But today is super, super, duper exciting. And you may be wondering, what's so exciting? Because I'm using LPS, it only could be for LPS. But it's, this isn't an LPS video, although I am using an LPS right now. I have got something to go with animals. And it's really exciting because I recently got more animals as an early birthday present. And you may be wondering, what animals can you get if you're not allowed to go out to a store and go buy them? Well, I got something online. I know, I'm so excited. And it came today, April 23rd, 2020, in the mail. We were expecting them on Saturday or Friday, but they came today, which is so exciting. I knew they would come today. Mm. Well, before I tell you what I got, I'm going to give you some hints. Um, because I was planning to post a video hinting on what I was getting. But since they came today, I didn't really have enough time. Because then I'd be posting two videos on the same day. So you'd probably already know. So, I'm going to give you a hint. It's not furry. Um, it is an insect. And I actually, you may be familiar with this channel. The channel is called Bugs in Cyberspace. And if you've seen that channel, um, you can tell him or comment in one of his videos that I have actually got one of his insects and I have it and I'm featuring it so really please go out and check out his channel or his website it's actually a really nice website um, I got them today although we thought they were gonna come this is his card and on it is an orchid mantis and a blue death feigning beetle. And so that is really exciting because lately after I had looked at the animal that I w would have been getting, although I wasn't sure that I was gonna get it because, well, I was recently allowed. Well, we decided to get it and before I had looked at it, I had found his channel. And I had watched a few of his videos. They're really good. So you should check them out. They're very interesting. Um, so, yeah. So you guys can, if you know his channel, comment down below in one of his videos that I have gotten one of his things. And... Now that you know I've gotten something, you must be wondering, well, what did she get? So, I'm going to tell you right now. Just let me go get them. <laughs> so, I got them. Um, there's only three, and before I show you them, I would like to you for you to guess, or I would like you to guess what they are. So, you know it's an insect, it's blue, it plays dead, and it, ha it has a pout, and it lives in the desert. And they're pretty small. 
So comment down below and I'll wait. Well, I'll wait. Sorry, you you probably hear my fish tank in the background. I'm I'm close to the tank right now filming. So yeah. Um, well, if you guys are filming, if you're typing, just pause the video and then continue, because I'm going to tell you what I got, which is so exciting. I'm so excited. So, what did you guys guess? Tell me. I will tell you what I got. I was planning to have you guys guess in the video before, but it... I, I just got them today, and I had I didn't have enough time to make the video, so I'm making one now about them. And if you had guessed right, you would have guessed the Blue Death Fainting Beetle. Like the one on the card. So that's what they look like. And you know how I asked, I said... If you don't know what they are, you know how I said that they're a beetle and they're small. Well, if you're guessing, they probably be, you're guessing, if you haven't ever heard of them, you could probably think they could be, like, pretty big or, like, a small, like, this big. But the really interesting thing about them is that they're actually smaller than an inch. They're so tiny. And I got three of them. And we also bought a kit, but we do have another tank that we're going to move them into. And the tank is very interesting. It came with a little hidey hut, some beetle, um, some beetle jelly. Um, we bought the kit separately, but they came on the same day. Um, at least I think. Let me think of this. Wait, let, I'll, I'll talk to you in a moment. Let, let me just think. Okay, okay. I, I thought I thought about it. Um, okay. Um, but I added a few extra touches. It's actually a pretty nice container kit that we got. Um, yeah. So I'll show you their tank. I added a few things like some fake plants. A food, like a cap for a food bowl, some carrots, oranges for them to eat. Oh, they're so tiny! I'm gonna get one out right now and show you. Okay, so I have a feeling this is a female. I don't know. Um, maybe the bugs are in cyberspace, guy, if you can tell me, or anyone else who just wants to comment because they already know. Um, this is my biggest. And you see how big she looks really big. I'm assuming it's a girl. Might not. But she's really small. Let me just compare her to my LPS. Is how big she is compared to my LPS. It's pretty small. Well, it says the beetles, they're supposed to grow up to, like, point, which means less. Then, it'd be about, I think they can grow up to, like, about point seventy one inches. Come here, sweetie. Let me just get her back in my hand right now so you can see her. So that actually is my biggest that I got out of the group. And the surprising thing is, since we only ordered three, um, I thought they were either going to be like one gender, one size, or they could be like two different genders, one amount of the other, um, and all different sizes. And the feeling is that I have a feeling, I, at least in one of this group, I have a feeling she's a girl... And we, I think we have another boy in the group, but I'm not sure what the other one is. This one is the biggest out of the group, and I have a feeling 
Well, we have actually three different sizes in this group that I got. I got her, which is the biggest out of the group. I, The medium one is the one that I think is a male, but I don't know the third one, but that one is the smallest. So I'll get you the different sizes out for you. But this is her. I think it's her. So yeah, I'll show you in the light her so you can get her coloring. Some can be more blue than others, but but the cool thing about it is they look a little oh. They look powdery because their blue is just a powder. And if you've researched a little bit about it, you've heard that if you wet them with water, they turn completely black. And that, and so once they dry out, they can become blue again. But the blue is actually a powder, apparently, that they rub on themselves, that they actually make themselves. And they rub it on them. So, yeah. But some can be more blue. Some can be more black. This one is kind of black. A little bit of blue in there. I haven't wet them. I just got them the mail. So, uh, yeah. I've been feeding them oranges and carrots. They seem to like the oranges. They've been eating a little one. This one actually ate, like, an orange for, like, a really long time. Like, maybe, like, 30 minutes for a while. I just put her by the food bowl, and she ate the orange. Well, she didn't eat all of it, but she was nibbling on it for, like, probably 20 or 30 minutes. Maybe a little bit less. I might be exaggerating, but I feel like she was doing that. Because I was, I had her next, I had their tank next to me. Um... The tank that I'm going to show you is only their temporary tank that I got in the kit that we ordered. I do have a way bigger tank. I actually have a 10-gallon that I'm going to get them in. So, yeah, this is only temporary. I'll show you the other sizes, and then I'll show you their temporary tank. So, yeah, let me get that ready. Okay, so I have the three different sizes um they do have a noticeably different size which isn't bad i'm just showing you guys so there's the female which is trying to crawl off my fingers so you don't the middle one which is right there and then the small tiny one guys stop trying to crawl off my hands guys ah! okay they didn't okay just they're just sitting there. Okay, that worries me, though. Uh, I'm going to set them down. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I better show you their tank. They're getting, they're moving around. But they're diurnal, so they're good display animals. They walk around, so, yeah. So, this is their tank. I added plants. I added this cap for food. Um, I added this plant. But the log, the substrate, this container, which is very nice and big, um, all came in the kit. So there's two of them. There's another one. Wait. That, those two are the small and the medium. This is the bigger one. When they're not together, oh, hey. What are you guys doing? It just looked like one of, oh, those, oh, oh, what, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. I can't get a good view. If, oh, they just already went out. Oh, she, what is chasing the other? Are they supposed to do that? I don't know. Are they chasing each other? Um. Guys, uh, can someone comment, uh, are they supposed to be fighting? Oh, this one, I think, is having trouble. Um, I'm gonna help them out. Do you want some help? Come on. Come on. 
Are you stuck? There. You're not supposed to go back there. I'm gonna move that closer to the glass so they don't go back there. Um, let me just fix this and then I'll be back. Uh, also, someone please comment if they're supposed to chase. I don't know why they were like chasing each other. It looked like they were chasing each other. I don't know why. Are they supposed to chase each other? Does anyone know what that means? Someone please comment. I am not sure about that. Okay, I just fixed it. Okay. Small and the big one over there. I think that's the medium one. Yeah, that's the medium one. Small and big one right there. So this is their tank. This is a very nice setup. It's a very nice substrate. It's like a mix of sand and some kind of rocks. It's nice. Um, they seem to like it. And this hide, um, I noticed that with this, it can't go directly up against the glass or plastic, either one. But I noticed that with my beetles, they don't really like to just stay under there. They like to move through it, so I moved it away from the glass a little because you just saw how those two were chasing each other and they went out and they went to the food bowl. They don't really like to just stay in there. They like to be able to move around. But this is pretty big if you compare it to my hand. See? It's pretty big. Hi. <laughs> but... I think I got these plants from Petco. I got that from Petco and this from Petco. Oh, um, there will be another video setting up their tank. I guess I could show you this video, but I'm not setting it up right now. i probably show you in a different video, so, yeah. Um... found him. He's very cute. They like going behind this this log. I don't know why. They just do. Um, maybe I should show you what they came in. Um, I think their box is out in the garage now, but I can show you their container. It was very cute when I met them. It was amazing. They came in this little container. It is blue death, three blue death feigning beetles. Um, they were all against the side. Um, they were all heading together. I hope it wasn't too cold on their trip here. I don't know if they had a heat pad or something. It was, it just started snowing today, but the kit that we got came with beetle jelly. The kit also came off the website, so yeah. Please go check out Cyber, either the channel or the website, Bugs in Cyberspace. It's actually a really interesting website um, and channel. The channel, they do more than just explaining about bugs. They sometimes go on like hikes and stuff, like they go on, hikes and look at bugs it's very interesting um and sometimes they explain about these kind of animals and they have prizes and stuff um but the website they have more than just beetles they have a ton of other stuff um it's not just blue death fainting beetles it's interesting so yeah yeah so I'm pretty sure they do I don't know. But they, the kit came with three different colors of beetle jelly. Does this mean different flavors? Um, Thom Yen Food Industries. I think that's in a different language. Here, 
that. Looks like it's in a different language, that one. Because I can't tell what those words are. Oh, it's unfocused. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, is it the same with this one? Um, it keeps unfocusing. Yeah, it is. But so they came in this little thing and they were all huddled up. It's a pretty good sized container if you see it compared to my hands. So, yeah. Um, it's nice. Yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty good. So, yeah. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye. Also, please like and subscribe. Comment down below. If you have any name suggestions,